Hi everyone, it's Bill of the North. I am back again. First time in many months I have appeared on camera. And I have some cook sets I wanted to show you and some different ways you can configure them. Over the last few months I picked up a couple of these British Pattern 58 water bottles and the plastic mug that goes with them. They carry a full liter of water and the mug is about half of that. 500 milliliters. These are a very, very hard plastic. You can't squeeze them. The imitation ones, I understand, are a softer plastic. And uh, the cap is watertight. This one is a new cap. It has gasket, a new gasket. This is the Mark II cook set and the Mark II mug that's made by BCB. And in the States, they're a little bit pricey. You have to order them online from UK companies. Now there's an older cook set in an older mug called the Mark I, and this is the Mark I mug, and I, I like it pretty much. I kind of like it a little bit better than the Mark II mug, but the Mark II cooker is better than the Mark I. I don't have a Mark I cooker. This one is taller inside so that you can put a mini Trangia type burner in there, or you can put chemical heat tabs or even little twigs in there. Whereas the Mark I is, is shorter and it doesn't work as well like that. The Mark I mug on the right is a little bit bigger than the US GI Canteen Cup. Just to show you the difference between the British mug and the American Canteen Cup, the American one fits about halfway into the British mug. Probably if it didn't have these handles on, it would fit all the way. The US GI Canteen will fit inside the Crusader mug. In fact, if you don't want to go to the expense of buying the stove and everything, this will fit inside the mug. The water bottle fits inside the mug and that nestles inside the cooker. The Mark I Crusader mug likewise fits on the bottom of the water bottle and the plastic cup goes over the top so you have a nice compact unit there. Like I said, I do not have the Mark I cooker but I believe that tucks right on the bottom of the Mark I mug. The Mark I mug does not fit inside the Mark II cooker very well. But, for transport that is. But for cooking, it works just fine. This is analyzed aluminum and one of the things I've noticed is the center part here bends a little bit. So you have to be careful because I can foresee those breaking off eventually. A lot of this kit is interchangeable, so you can configure it as you want to use it. This is one of those newfangled multiple kind of carrier pouches, canteen slash multiple carrier pouches, whatever. Got a couple pockets on the side, which I like. Let me show you what I've got inside here. I've got the USGI stove and this is the British pattern 58 water bottle with the mark 1 with the mark 1 what mug it all fits in there nicely here's the British water bottle with the mark 2 cooker and mug and as was demonstrated before the plastic drinking mug sits right on top of the whole thing but if you would prefer to have something else to cook with the mark 1 mug also fits right on top of there so overall the British kit takes up a lot of room and you need a big pouch to carry it in this is the I think it's pronounced Amy Poo Amy Poe something like that I found it online for about 15 16 dollars plus shipping it's 13 inches tall I think it's five by three inches on the rest of it and it fits with a little bit of room left over for a little bit of fuel some matches, a few uh, things like that, uh, water purification tablets, a few things like that. For those that don't already know, this does not fit on the bottom there. It's made to go on the top, which it does nicely. And I actually like these plastic cups because they're cool. You can sip from them hot tea, hot coffee, soup, whatever, without burning your lip. The metal cups, not so much. This is the U.S. canteen cup and the British water bottle will not fit in there. Don't even force it. As an alternative method of carrying the water bottle around, uh, this will fit in the U.S. GI canteen pouch, the older type pouch. 
but not with this on it. That won't. It fit. will fit with the Crusader mug inside, although it's going to be a stretch to get those snaps buttoned up. But I've I've managed to do it with. I've managed to do it by stretching the material, but it's not something I want to do all the time. This is one of those occasions when you can mix and match some things that weren't necessarily meant to go together and they will work reasonably well. This is the British Crusader mug. The Crusader mug sits pretty decently on top of the US little stove burner thingy, but you have to put it crossways or diagonally. It will not sit very well side to side or laterally or however you want to call that. So nothing earth shattering about any of this gear. You can find it all over YouTube and the internet, but it gives me a chance to fool around with my new editing software. Same old camera though, with the built-in microphone. Hopefully I get that replaced this year. Bill of the North, out. Wait, didn't I have a different uh, catchphrase or something I was going to use? Oh, gee. I don't remember now. Okay. Kapla. That's Klingon.